deal, huh? It's uh, quarter after six. Someone before mentioned seven o'clock. I think that's a point at which we might begin to discuss the question of whether we're a hung jury or not. Don't you feel well? I feel perfectly well, thank you. I was saying that seven o'clock would be a reasonable time. Uh, the reason I asked about that was because uh, you were up your nose like... Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting, but you made a gesture that reminded me of something. I'm trying to settle something here, do you mind? Well, I think this is important. Thank you. Now then, I'm sure you'll pardon me for this, but I was wondering why you rub your nose like that. Oh, come on, will you? At this point, I happen to be talking to the gentleman sitting next to you. Now, why were you rubbing your nose like that? Well, if it's any of your business, I was rubbing it because it bothers me a little. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it, is it because of your eyeglasses? It is. Now, could we get on to something else? Your eyeglasses made those two deep impressions in the size of your nose. I hadn't noticed that before. That must be annoying. It is very annoying. Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I've never worn eyeglasses. 2020. Listen, will you come on already with the optometrist bit? The woman who testified that she saw the killing had those same marks on the sides of her nose. Oh, he's smoking. Oh, he's smoking. Just give me a minute. Now be finished. I don't know if anyone else noticed that about her. I didn't think of it then, but I've been going over her face in my mind. She had those same marks. She kept rubbing them in court. He's right. But she did do that a lot. This woman was about, uh, about 45 years old. She's making a tremendous effort to look 35 for her first public appearance. Heavy makeup, dyed hair, brand new clothes that should have been worn by a younger woman. No glasses, but women do that. See if you can get a mental picture of her. What do you mean, no glasses? How do you know whether she wore glasses? Just because she was rubbing her nose? Now, she had those marks. I saw them. But so what? What do you think that means? Listen, I'm getting so sick of your yelling oh, here. come on. Forget it. Hey, listen. Listen, he's, he's right. I saw them, too. That I was the closest one to her. She had these, uh, these things in the side of her nose. What do you call those uh, on the side? Well, what point are you making here? She had dyed hair, marks on her nose. Well, what does that mean? Could those marks be made by anything other than eyeglasses? No. They couldn't. I didn't see any marks. I did. Strange, but I didn't think about it before. Well, what about the lawyer? Why didn't he say something? There are 12 people in here concentrating on this case. 11 of us didn't think of it either. Well, what about the district attorney? You think he'd pull a trick like that? Have her testify without her glasses? Did you ever see a woman who had to wear glasses and didn't want to because she thinks they spoil her looks? OK. She had marks on her nose. I'm giving you that, from glasses, right? She didn't want to wear them out of the house so people would think she's gorgeous. But when she saw this kid killing his father, she was in the house alone. That's all. Do you wear glasses when you go to bed? No, I don't. No one wears eyeglasses to bed. It's logical to assume that she wasn't wearing them when she was in bed, tossing and turning, trying to fall asleep. How do you know? I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm also 